All right, all right, all right. This is a test uh, run here. We're trying to see if this thing works. So, um, yeah. Hello, everybody. Good morning for all of those watching. Um, technically, this is not morning for me because I am pre-recording this because I am tired of the crappy quality of the videos. So, uh, we're trying something a little different here. I'm pre-recording this. I'm going to post it. I don't know how to do one of those live YouTube uh, watching things, but we're gonna give that a shot, or maybe I have to like grow my audience more or whatever. But we're we're gonna get some 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 better quality videos in the tank. See what happens. See how people react to it. So my apologies, I'm not going to be able to uh, interact with you guys live. Uh, blame Verizon, really. Um, but anyways, today we are drawing uh, Vadim Newquest. Uh, who is um runs the creationist chat uh, creationist cat channel can't seem to speak here uh, on youtube um for for his uh uh for his cat the the lord's chosen cat creationist cat who who uh is truly a star and absolutely everybody should go check him out the the videos get really weird at times uh but i love them it's just it's this beautiful surrealness um uh, you know, I, I love that kind of satire, like, like, CC is legit brilliant, um, although, although that's the thing, like, 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 like uh, right, right-wingers like CC, uh, don't know that they're do, that, 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 that they're really hilarious, and that's the brilliance of it, but, um, I'm drawing, I'm drawing CC's human slave and not... And not CC himself, so or herself. I don't know. I don't know CC's gender. But anyways, uh, CC is not in this picture. That is, in fact, uh, Cortez. Uh, Cortez's butt in his face. So um, let's have some fun, y'all. Anyways. Um, But yeah, if you uh, if you want to watch some fun videos, just kind of lampooning stuff, uh, you know, really great super cuts and stuff, uh, absolutely check out Creationist Cat. Uh, you, you might need to smoke a bowl before you watch it, but uh, other than that, um, you know, really good stuff. I don't think CC would approve of uh, sitting like that, but you know. Because some of those Alex Jones ones are just, like, absolutely unreal. Well, since I have not broadcast since the, um, the, the, the Democratic debate, I was just going to put a few thoughts out there. I kind of, uh, live, uh, updated it on my Facebook while it was going on. I kind of like doing that just as like a benchmark of things. So like a year from now I can look back and be like, huh, oh, interesting thought. But uh, overall, the debate was just a big waste of time. Nobody really said anything. Um, uh, it, it really peaked out early for me. It was whenever... Um, uh, Warren and Sanders went uh, and just destroyed Joe Biden right at the beginning. Joe Biden never recovered. He's in there rambling about record players. Um, uh, I don't, I, I mean, I, I legit don't remember much of what people said. I remember uh, Mr. Systemic Racism himself uh, Pete Buttigieg, Pete Buttigieg, I think that's how you say his name, um, was talking about systemic racism, and, and I mean, here's the thing, like, like uh, he's got a, he's got a good stump, uh, stump speech and all, but that's all he's got, uh, because his record as mayor completely, you know, ruins anything from that stump speech, like, like, uh, he, he's got, like, no goodwill. Uh, 
uh, let's see here. But yeah, um, honestly, nothing really came out of it. Uh, Bernie Sanders had a really tough question, like very awkwardly asked, um, but trying to make him, uh, get on the record about, uh, uh, about Venezuela, which is a very complicated issue, and I don't think uh, he was quite prepared for it because, um, you know, his his uh, foreign policy for the most part has been show solidarity, and there is um, uh, Venezuela is very complicated. I I don't uh, I don't fully uh, comprehend everything that's going on there because you know, like there's. The, you know, you got to sort through, like, uh, literal, like, CIA propaganda that's in the news and whatnot. You know, and uh, that's not necessarily completely something I've been focusing on. I, I probably should uh, focus on it a little bit for my project, but uh, right now I'm looking at uh, Honduras. So, um... There you have it. Uh, I do question some of the people that were on stage. Like, uh, why was Amy Klobuchar on stage? Like, who actually supports her? Besides Rachel Maddow. I, I mean, uh, if I recall correctly, back when I did watch Rachel Maddow, um, she's she, she started, like... Um, she, she has Amy Klobuchar on there regularly. And as a guest... Discussing politics in Washington. I'm, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, I, I like Amy Klo No, no, like, like, like but in, in the context of watching her on a talk show, just discussing things, not, you know, not terrible because she's kind of discussing realities on the ground and not about her opinion. Her opinion's pretty like, well, we can't do that. That's just too hard to do. Which is basically her at the debate. Um, the the thing is, is like with all the debates, uh, the, the the one winner has always been hands down. Uh, 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 Julian Castro. Julian? Yes, Julian Castro. Sorry, I always get him and his brother confused. My apologies. And I always forget he's running at when he's not on a debate. But, like, on the debate stage, he's legit been doing a good job. I mean, you know, he he, he also helped uh, tear down Biden at the beginning there. Caught Biden contradicting himself and, and just ripped into him. But also, like, um, the I think it was the first debate, uh, he actually, you know, uh, when asked about, like, reproductive rights... Or, or health care, he brought up reproductive rights, and he brought up trans rights right in the middle of the conversation. Kind of tripped over his words, and, and I think he um, misgendered uh, who needs to be able to go to see um, uh, a gynecologist. And I notice I'm avoiding it because I know I'm going to screw it up too, so there you have it. <laughs> but But, like... Quite frankly, here's the thing, like, like you know, people are going to make mistakes, uh, especially us cis people, and, and I understand that. But the, the thing is, though, is I, I appreciate the fact that he's actually going there. So, you know, good on him, man. Like, like you know, that was um, an error that I think we can all, you know, accept. You know, it's not like we're going to jump down his throat or anything. But, uh, yeah, no, um Castro at the last debate too was uh pretty strong. Um I was impressed that uh Beto called for reparations. Um good on him. Uh Cory Booker, always super passionate about saying nothing. You know, I, 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 I do, you know, granted that that Justin Trudeau joke was really good. Yeah, I'm afraid of his hair. <laughs> a little bobbish. <laughs> uh, 
Now, I do always feel kind of like I need to defend Cory Booker from some people because uh, I don't like this whole fake geek narrative because cause Cory Booker's a legit geek. Um, it's just, you know, he's not a uh, full... You know, he, being you know being into Star Trek, reading comic books, that's his hobby, you know? Um, I can totally respect that. He, uh... He left uh, Avengers before uh, the the final final cut scene there. The uh, end of the ending credits where they're all at the uh, shawarma bar, and I had to explain to him what happened in that scene. And 140 characters. There's my Cory Booker story. But no, I I mean like like you know I, I you know he's a politician. That's a big job. Um, I'm not talking about the quality of his, his work there, but like, you know, him not necessarily having the time to stick around for all the credits. I'm not going to be mad for that. Um, him, him not necessarily passing some internet nerds, uh, level of, uh, uh, geek cred, like, you know, dude's got a busy job. Um... But also, at the debate, he really didn't say a whole lot. Which is a shame, because like I said, I, you can tell. There's something about him I like. I, 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 I want to I wanna like him more, and I want to support him more, because I want, I want a geek president. I want Cory Booker to get up there and passionately discuss foreign policy and name check like Magneto, Doctor Doom. And Star Trek. Because it's time America has a nerd president. Uh unfortunately I don't think it's gonna be Cory Booker. Okay. Where am I missing? Oh, right there. There we go. But yeah, <laughs> um, Elizabeth Warren did fine. Uh, Bernie Sanders should have taken some breaks before the uh, before the debate because his voice wasn't there. That was not really good optics on his part. And, uh, honestly, I, nobody else really did that good of a job. I, I mean, like, you know, um, Joe Biden was in complete embarrassment. His teeth fell out. Um, the ironic thing is, is, uh, go on Twitter and Donald Trump freaking was, was, uh, mocking Biden for that. And it's like, dude, your teeth fell out too in a speech. Hello. And then I tweeted, uh, I tweeted out the link to it, so if y'all want to see uh, Donald Trump lose his teeth while he's speaking, go check my Twitter. The link can be found below. But anyways, yeah, debate, big waste of time. Um, this time around, we were all losers in the debate. Excuse me. Uh. 
All right. There we go. That's looking much better. A little bit more like Cortez. Maybe I should have Cortez on the channel. Maybe I should draw Cortez in CC. Oh, man, that'd be something, wouldn't it? Like an action movie poster. That'd be fun. Okay, we need bigger. Bigger! There we go. Smaller! <laughs> bigger! Sorry. When I'm doing this and I don't have anything keeping me plugged in, uh, like, like, like I'm not answering your questions, Seriously, you know, you, you guys uh, got any questions about process or, or anything like that, feel free to ask. Um, you know, with these things, I, I, you know, my warm-ups here, I absolutely am leaning heavy on photo reference. But the thing is, it's like, uh, there are things you can learn from that. And that's kind of how I want to approach this. It's more... Yeah. Um, I know I was looking over like a couple of my other uh, comments on the whole thing. Uh, 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 Buddha Judge uh, using the phrase homeland unironically made me feel very, very uncomfortable. Um, also, like, uh, I think at the end he spoke about systemic racism, which is kind of ridiculous, because he, he literally is the candidate of systemic racism. Um, I know he's trying to get away from that, but, like, I'm sorry, man. Um, way you govern your city, it's gonna stick to you, bro. You have to do more than make pretty speeches to, 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 to get that stink off you. All right. I'm going to see if I can cut these two videos together. I apologize. Oh. I apologize because, uh, you know, this isn't supposed to happen. Ah, oh, dang it. Ah. Uh. Okay, let's get uh, another layer in here. Let's go to black. How's this coming out? All right. There we go.
There we go. That looks really not too bad. Hop back to white. I'm gonna sign this bad boy. All right, y'all. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, hopefully, this video is going to come out fine. Um, I'm going to probably go ahead and try to record the next one after I get this uh, stitched together and uploaded. We will uh, we will see um, how this works, and then I'll I'll try it with a different app. Keep trying to figure it out till till we figure out which one works here. Um, but yeah, thank everybody for watching. Thank you, uh, who, who, uh, if I, if I can do that premiere thing, um, thank you for being here. If not, thank you for watching this when you watch it. And, uh, while you're out there living your best life, get out there and make some art. All right, peace, y'all.